Hey, welcome back to Go. Here she is, Mary Ross, Executive Director of something that used to be called the Kiwanis Performing Arts Festival, mm -hmm. but now it is called the Calgary Performing Arts Festival, held until May 7th here in Calgary. Hi. Hi. 85 years this has been going on, but for you, you've been involved for about 20 I, or so? <laughs> almost, 18 years. Oh, well, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, and every year is different. Every year is different. You know, I started out as the person who put the concerts together. We have a number of concerts, and we do a musical theater showcase that mm. will be on April 30th. We are going to be doing our uh, European Masters Evening on Tuesday, May 3rd. We'll be doing our Outstanding Speech Performer Showcase on Friday the 6th of May and then our gala event is the stars of the festival oh. on Saturday May 7th S yeah someone unfamiliar and who isn't familiar with this but there's a lot of people who've just come new to Calgary mm -hmm. the Calgary Performing Arts Festival is about what this festival is all about performing arts obviously it's included in our name we have 18 different categories most of them relate to music but we also have um, speech arts and drama mm -hmm. and uh, we've introduced different categories over the years. A few years ago, we introduced the uh, Chinese ethnic instruments, the wow. air hu, gazong, things like that. And this year, fiddle is going to be in this festival. I love so this. Uh, another departure for us, yeah. There are also not only adjudicators, but there's also instructors as well, too, to give kids the, the added uh, maybe tips that they, they so do desire. Yes, if we're talking about the adjudicators, uh, we bring in, oh gosh, probably close to 25 people each year that work specifically in the room. They're listening to what they're wow. doing. They're thinking about, okay, what do I like? What could maybe use a little more work? And then at the end of the class, they have some time to actually share that with them. And Jeez. it's very valuable. No pressure for the kids, Mary. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Well, but you know what? If you don't want the pressure, we also have non-competitive classes. Mm. So certainly within all of those categories that, that, that we offer, most of them have some non-competitive options as well that you can pick and the amount of talent that comes out of these festivals every year mm -hmm. is breathtaking I know later in this half hour we'll be talking to Stefania Romaniak who actually won the Rose Bowl champion award last year yeah. I hear so many wonderful things about this young lady yes she's a very very fine vocalist and she's one of the people who has come up through our festival wow. so she was here during her um, her early years she went away did some university and is actually now back again oh. and it was just such a pleasure for us to have her participating and to it was nice to see her win the Rose Bowl. Well you're gonna have a chance to hear her sing later in this half hour. Um, mm -hmm. Congratulations on another fantastic year. May 7th, Thank you. yes? Yes, May 7th for Stars of the Festival. And look for it where? Where's your new location? We are at Mount Royal University. There we go. First time ever, and our concerts will be held, at least two of them, in the new Taylor Center for the Performing Arts in the Bella Concert Hall. Which is a gorgeous, gorgeous Absolutely facility. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks for your time, Mary. Thank you and so much for coming. congratulations again. Thank you. Here's what else is coming up on Go. Now, do we start singing? Do we start singing now? <laughs>